Welcome to the Vuzik podcast, video number 18. We're going to take a, a look at how to create some rhythmic sounds and pad sounds. I'm going to start with my initiating preset and I'm going to browse my sound sets folder so I can load a sawtooth waveform. And I'm going to apply a filter to it and use an LFO fo one to the filter frequency and here in the, in the LFO I'm going to select one off one four at a time and I'm going to select salt of waveform and I'm going to apply some some effect using the FX1 and using the internal browser I'm going to quickly load my chorus and I'm going to use another LFO, LFO2 to modulate a second filter I'm going to activate so filter 2 frequency and I'm going to use parallel filters and on the left LFO2, I'm going to use another timing for it. I'm going to use 2 4. And I can use a fixed value here. I'm going to use MIDI CC1, CC0 actually. And I'm going to fix the value just using minimum and max to 127. And I can use options and disable real time so you use little CPU usage. And I'm going to change the filter to on my oscillator one the volume of the filter. <laughs> Since this is not real time anymore, it has the sign before the name of the destination and I have to press a key every time I make a change. And I can also use the equalizer to remove some of the bass frequencies. And I can adjust my amplitude envelope to make it sound, sound more like a pad sound. And I can also adjust the type of the envelope curve. And of course, I can also use other thirds for my for my sound. I can use another sound if I want. Let me take here the, the Artvir New Age collection. I'm going to use a char sound. So I can recreate with the sounds in a very simple way. Each of the LFOs is synced to the beat per minutes of the host, it's very easy to use. So this is for this video, thank you.